hello guys welcome to our website binaryhackers.com and in this video i am going to show you one script that is called the lazykali.sh this script contain very useful tool you need to just trigger that options trigger that tool and your work will done more and more easily it contain very useful like metasploit services uh, snooping and sniffing generating payload so in this video i am going to show you how to download and install that lazykali.sh script and how to run and how to use each options in lazykali so let's start first you need to download the lazykali.sh script from the internet so i will provide you the link this is the link to download the lazykali.sh script uh, you can also search on google for lazykali.sh so it will easily find and download the script and save on your desktop after that let me switch on my desktop directory okay so to run that file type s sorry lazy kali dot sh okay so i installed this script already when i press enter it's showing the message script is installed but uh, when you install that script when you run that script the first time it will asking you that the script is not installed would you like to install it so type y and press enter so it will install the script in your machine so this is our lazy kali script and it is very interesting and very useful script of for uh, the hacking purpose okay you can see the update kali so our first option is update kali sniffing smoofing this is our credit metasploit services install extras exit program open mesh services payload generator exploit database and the last one is help so i'm talking for uh, from the first one that is the update kali so if you want to go into that option type one and press enter so here are our three option if you want to update on a linux you can choose the first option and then press enter so it will update your kali linux machine if you want to update your kali linux and clean your kali linux cache and all that temporary files you can also choose the second option so it will update your kali linux machine and clean your old files okay i'm not updating my machine because i already update my kali linux so i'm switching back to the menus the second menu is metasploit services you can also start and stop services from your terminal and from kali linux also uh, let me show you this in your kali linux machine you can also go to the application kali linux system and services metasploit and start your metasploit service and stop from this menu and also you type a command from your terminal to start and stop the metasploit services so this and this option totally same just go to this option number 2 and it show me total five options start metasploit services stop metasploit services auto start back to the menu or restart metasploit services so let me show you that typing number 3 and press enter so it will restart the metasploit services so metasploit services already run in my system in background now it's restarting then it stop the three services and it will again start that three services you can see it's stopping this three and again starting one two and again starting this three services right so our metasploit services is restart now if i press enter then it will switch back to our menu press enter and the home page is gone so this is the metasploit services the third option is open web services if you want to start and stop the open web services same as the metasploit no different thing so if you want this you can start and stop or roll back your web file services okay so go to the back menu this is for snipping and spoofing let enter so here is a lots of interesting and very useful tool yamas 
porn star ghost fishing uh, let's start with the ghost fishing because i already installed that in my system you can see it uh, telling that ghost fishing is installed okay so if you in your system if ghost fishing is not installed then it will ask for if you want to like to install the ghost fishing so press y and enter so it will install that software in your system so press is yes to continue and here it is here is our software actually i am uh, running a party and uh, xming server SSH server to connect my Kali Linux therefore it's <laughs> look like Windows 7 bar that close and minimize okay so this is a ghost phishing this is a fake access point fake DNS server fake DHCP server fake HTTP server session hijacking ARP cache poisoning so these are very interesting and very useful tool for your sniffing and spoofing purpose in your hacking so this also a very useful tool ghost phishing so there is a total number of six tool and seven option is a back to main menu so you can also use uh, these all tools so i recommended you that just go and download these tools use that tool at your own so you can also learn more and more thing so let's go back to our main menu okay then our uh, next option is install extras let's see that okay these are the install extras options the lots of uh, total 20 numbers or 90 numbers of software if you want to install you can install from here for example in google chrome in kali linux uh, google chrome is not installed by default okay so if you want to install google chrome you can type 4 option press enter and it's showing that this option will install the google chrome latest version do you want to install it you can type y press enter so it will install google chrome in your kali linux okay so you don't need to go uh, to the website to download google chrome setup and from kali linux to run that setup so this software will do all things automatically so that's why the software name is lazy kali so right now i'm not installing this software type no press enter and you can switch back to your options install extra option so go back press 20 to main menu the next option is payload generator this is very interesting option uh, actually i already installed that simple ducky okay when you first time run this uh, script the first time run press one and enter it will show you that this software is not installed script is not installed in your system Would you like to install it press y and type y and enter so it will install each and every step go to step by step and in install the software that is recommended to run this script okay now it's launching the key because i already installed it press any key to continue okay now it's open another window terminal and you can see right here this would like to start this is a lots of interesting options windows reverse shell payload wi-fi attack password attacks linux os payload wave attack cleanup ftv server setup for just example go to the windows power shell type one press enter see right here persistence reverse shell uh, if you don't know the persistent attacks just watch my previous video on windows persistent backdoor persistent so you can uh, know that what is the persistent and how it works powershell download and execute windows reverse shell so there is lots of payload you can use this option to generate a payload okay you don't need to write any code just go to the option one two three whatever your uh, payload is want uh, after that it will ask you for the port number ip addresses your name so type all these things just press enter and it will directly generate the payload for you so you can use that payload 
and put that payload in your shell code in your exploit and use your exploit more stronger to attack on the victim system victim system okay so this is very very important tool so i'm going to back quite and the last few option is help credit and exit program when you type a help actually in this lazy kali don't need any help okay because all are very very shortcut you need to type number and press enter and the lazy kali will directly do all the things for you you don't need to type anything or like in payload generator you don't need to type that code and all thing you just type one two three options and it will directly generate a payload for you so when i type help and press enter it's telling me that what do you need help for seems pretty simple actually it's very pretty simple it is not very hard and credit goes to this website you can also watch this credits uh, that make this software very easily and if you want to exit this program you can use option number 10 to exit this program actually this is very shortcut type program that's why it give a name kali lazy kali and very interesting to if you want a payload generator uh, using a payload generator or snipping and spoofing option to hack the victim system this tool is very very important and very very helpful to achieve your goal so this is all for this video i recommended you to go each and every option in lazy kali dot sh script so it will uh, do more and more practice do more and more practice on this every options okay so thanks for watching see you in the next video